What's up, y'all? Gerald here, creator of Gospel Chops and your host for this YouTube channel, back with another video. Now, y'all, this video is a heartbreaker for me. If you follow me for any length of time, you know that I was born and raised red in the Bay Area of California. In fact, as I sit here, I'm not too far from the Bay right now. But the current situation in Oakland, California has reached a breaking point. Yeah, situation is out of control. Government can't handle it. Police can't handle it. Crime is on the rise. It is chaos. And what makes the media pay attention to things like this? Well, when you have situations where in and out Burger says, we out of Oakland. The crime is too crazy. Our customers are at risk. And even though this store is profitable in East Oakland, we out. We closing up shop. <laughs> now to Oakland, where concerns about crime at their only in and out right by the airport has caused the company to decide to close the location for good. in and out is just the latest in a long line of businesses that have shut down in the last year, citing crime as a driving factor. Customers and workers we spoke to today tell our doll in they are angry about the closure, but not surprised. The drive-through line at this Oakland in and out is always very long. The company made it very clear this is a very busy and profitable location. They say the issue is crime and safety. Dozens of cars inching along the drive-through line and plenty more people inside the dining room, including loyal customer Jan Bundy. First time I taste one of the burgers, I was like, oh my God. The lifelong East Oakland resident comes at least twice a week. He's well aware of the car break-ins in the parking lot. There are warning signs in front of in and out and throughout the lot. He witnessed thieves breaking into a car next to him. They have, you know, weapons. So you don't want to run up and be no hero. Less than two months ago, it happened to his truck when he ate inside. They was trying to steal my vehicle, but I had a kill switch on it they didn't know about. So they couldn't get the vehicle, but they took all my belongings out. The damage cost him about $500. Now his partner stays in the truck while he orders inside. That's why he's not surprised in and out is shutting down the Oakland location. It's really a sad moment. Definitely frustrated, definitely frustrated, you know, because if it's not in and out, it's going to be something else tomorrow. These are people's jobs, you know, and it's essential to have jobs so we can spend money, you know, in the community. The San Francisco Chronicle reports since 2019, police have recorded over 1300 incidents in and around the fast food restaurant more than any other location in Oakland. Most of the reported incidents were car break ins targeting visitors coming through Oakland Airport. Employees tell me they've seen armed robberies of customers as well. It's terrifying because like it also puts us in danger. This in and out worker says thieves stay away when officers patrol the lot, but they're only here for a few hours a day. They just look around all the time and then they see PD leaves for a second and then that's when they take the chance. In and out released a statement that reads in part, despite taking repeated steps to create safer conditions, our customers and associates are regularly victimized by car break ins, property damage, thefts and armed armed robberies. We cannot ask them to visit or work in an unsafe environment. We are in a state of emergency. We are in the state of emergency. Should it have to take a declaration to deliver when we're living this? My district has been in crisis. Councilwoman Treva Reed represents the area. She's been calling on the city council and Mayor Shang Tao to provide more police resources, but says she has gotten very little support. The Oakland Airport, the Hagenberger 98th Area Corridor is a gateway into the East Bay, and we have got to invest more and have dedicated regional statewide collaboration on how we are going to support and strengthen that corridor. Starbucks in the same lot shut down late last year. Raising Canes is doing drive through only to prevent car break ins. In and out says its last day will be on March 24th. This is the worst it has ever been. The company says the workers here will be given the option to transfer to other nearby In and Out restaurants. They're not the first. There's a Starbucks in that same area that left several months ago. Boarded up the store, gone. Starbucks. Raising Cane's, a little chicken spot in the same area, closed up the inside of the establishment and their drive through only. Because folks was going inside the establishments and their cars were getting broken into in the parking lot while they were waiting on their food. So they've set up a situation where it's drive through only. You stay in your car. 
And I'm sad to say that even that's not going to stop you from getting jacked in the drive through The situation is dire in Oakland, y'all. Last time I went to Oakland, I got to say, y'all, the city looked like a burnt match. <laughs> I was driving down International Boulevard in East Oakland and just looking around like, oh my God, what has happened to this place? It looked like a bomb went off in this city. Didn't used to be this way, but I went to a musical at church. I was at church, y'all. And for those of you who know, if you know, you know, I was off of uh, MacArthur and 69th. Little church there in the hood. It was a musical late night. Yeah, I knew it was the hood, but you know, the hood needs the church. Where else are you going to put the church? You put it where the need is. Makes sense, right? Halfway through the musical, I just felt the need. Spirit told me, man, get up out of here. You got to drive back to home. It's going to take you a few minutes. Leave a little early. I go outside, y'all. After listening to some great gospel music in the Bay, I go outside. Police everywhere. They lining off a certain area with yellow tape. Fortunately, I was able to get in my car and get out that situation and go. I said, whoo, thank the Lord. I missed whatever happened here only to wake up the next morning, <laughs> go out to my car and find two bullet holes in it. <laughs> yeah, that's Oakland, y'all. You can't even go to church without getting shot up. Situation is critical and it's causing folks who have staked their whole career on Oakland to leave. Check out what. OG Richie Rich has to say about Oakland. <laughs> he put it as plain as it can be. The cost of living is going up, but the chance of living is going down. Y'all check this out. This one right here, yeah, I don't even need you to see me with this shit I'm finna be talking, but I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah, people hitting my line, talking about, man, where you going, where you going? Out of California, the fuck out of California. Yeah, California is on its way down the drain. You hear me? Yeah, your local legislators, your motherfucking state legislation, they selling this motherfucker dirt cheap. You understand me? Yeah, they giving immigrants benefits. You hear me? They giving checks to homeless people, bro. I'm not against immigrants. I'm not against homeless people, but they not giving me no motherfucking checks. The schools is fucked up. They not teaching the kids nothing. They not paying the teachers to teach the kids nothing. Yeah, your, my favorite restaurant, La Chevelle, out of here. My favorite football team, the Oak Raiders, out of here. Favorite basketball team, Warriors, out of here. Favorite baseball team, A's, out of here. Yeah, man, everybody is getting the fuck out of California, me included. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, around here, the cost of living is going up and the chances of living are going down. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, how about that? Yeah, California, the people who legislate for us don't live here. They selling this motherfucker out. All the homeless people you see in these Scooby and the Ghost Chaser motorhomes parked everywhere, they not even from here. But it's so much free money going on. Yeah, free money, food stamps, all the shit. Yeah, California is over with, baby. You understand me? Yeah, you heard it from me. Fuck California. Hug the loved ones, kiss the babies, and fuck. The effort to recall Mayor Shang Tao is officially underway. A letter of intent was sent via certified mail to the mayor this afternoon. Organizers say rising crime is a driving factor. Here's ABC7 News reporter Ansar Hassan. Signed, sealed and soon to be delivered, the recall of Oakland Mayor Shang Tao is officially underway. There are too many, there are too many lives that have been lost, too many cars stolen, too many people who've been robbed coming from a bank, followed home. Too many things, too many businesses have closed. Just, just, you know, th this mayor has blood on her hands. Retired Alameda County Superior Court Judge Brenda Harbin Forte is leading the recall campaign. The letter of intent was sent certified mail to Mayor Tao on Saturday. The letter states, you lack the competency, credibility, judgment, and the ability to lead what was once a great American city. The letter says grounds for the recall include creating a public safety crisis by systematically dismantling the Oakland Police Department, delaying OPD's exit from 20 years of federal oversight, missing the retail theft grant, and rising crime. Businesses were not leaving, uh, leaving Oakland at this pace before she came into office. So we can't pretend that there's no correlation between her decisions and what is happening with the city now. Oakland City Council member Noel Gallo says he's surprised by the recall and doesn't support it. He thinks it will create more divisions in City Hall. But he adds he supports voter rights to take action. People are frustrated and disappointed. They want immediate action to bring back Oakland 
uh, to a level where it used to be. Mayor Tao has admitted to mistakes at previous public forums, such as missing a multi-million dollar state grant deadline to fight retail theft. But Mayor Tao's supporters point to new programs already underway, such as grants for small businesses and new policing initiatives, even as Oakland tackles a historic deficit. And they argue, though crime may be up, it's not at historic levels. Harbin Forte was on the Oakland Police Commission until she was removed by Mayor Tao last year. Oakland City Council member Carol Fife sees the recall as a political stunt. It's very disturbing that an individual that was released from the police commission for uh, a number of factors is a part of an effort to unseat a newly elected mayor. Harbin Forte dismisses such accusations. What's happening in Oakland is serious. It is significant. And we don't need anybody in this process who is trying to um, trying to settle a grudge. And I certainly am not doing that. Mayor Tao's office did not respond to requests for comment. The mayor now has seven days to respond to the letter. In Oakland, on Hassan, ABC 7 News. You can recall the mayor. It's not going to make a difference. <laughs> you have to overhaul the entirety of local government in the city of Oakland because they don't seem to care that the city is being gutted. Jack London Square, the restaurants, your concert venues, everybody gone, vacated. Go down Broadway, your major retailers, gone. People are out because you've got homeless folks and illegal immigrants who are bombarding the city with their presence with no positive impact whatsoever. And it seems like local government is offering more benefits to the criminals and the illegals than the citizens. They don't seem to care. It's gotten to the point where folks is coming up out the flatlands and creeping up into the hills for home invasions. Years ago, that was unheard of. You go to the hills and you were good in Oakland. No longer. Those days are long behind us y'all pray for oakland and as i sit here i don't know what's worse oakland or la it seems like they're in competition in a race to the bottom in the la area in the bay area <laughs> pray for the state of california pray for this nation as we are on the brink of what appears to be a civil war as the state of Texas tries to protect the border and protect their citizens, y'all. There's much reason to be prayerful. There's much reason to be aware. But as I sit here, there is no reason to be afraid because God has not given us a spirit of fear. But you would be remiss in your duties if you did not use the resources available to you. I hope you get what I'm saying. To protect yourself and protect your family because the situation is going to get worse. It continues to devolve day by day. And it's pretty clear to me and other like-minded individuals that your government will not come to save you. Even if they could, they wouldn't. Y'all like the video. Subscribe to the channel and share the video so we can get more people involved in the conversation, y'all. And like I always say, always remember and never forget, without the gospel, it's just chops. Until next time. Peace.